So this shows <clears throat> the ignorance is a sick. And the people involved in sin, involved in innovation, is due to which the people of innovation lack, or ignorance in the area of action. Again, you have the ignorance of the knowledge and the ignorance of action. The people of innovation, they lack in knowledge of the end. Well, they're not. They, they fall into the area of the ignorance of knowledge. And the people of sin, they fall into the area of the ignorance of action. The people of innovation, they have been corrupted because of the doubtful matters, the doubtful affairs. And the people of sin have become corrupt with the evil desires. Ibn al-Qayyim, Ibn al-Qayyim, rahimahullah ta'ala, he mentioned, وَالْأَسْبَابُ الْمَانِعَ مِنْ قُبُولِ الْحَقِّ كَثِيرَةً جِدًّا فَمِنْهَا الْجَهْلُ بِي وَهَذَا السَّبَبُ هُوَ الْغَالِبْ عَلَىٰ أَكْثَرِ النُّفُوسِ He says that the reasons which prevent an individual from accepting the truth are many. And from them is the ignorance of the truth. And this reason here is that which overwhelms the majority of the people. It is that which overwhelms the majority of the people. I mention all of this as an introduction to address that which we find being spread in these days and times. by way of the internet, in particular the YouTube, where you have individuals posting postings of cartoons and other matters where they make a mockery of the Salafi Dawah. And, the, and, and those who ascribe themselves to a da'wah to Salafiyya. Indeed, from amongst mankind, or from us, as we, be, we are from mankind, we are prone to error. As the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam mentioned, كُلُّ بَارِ آدَمْ خَطَّى وَخَيْرُ الْخَطَّائِينَ أَتَّوَّابُونَ that all of the children of Adam, they are sinners. But the best of those who sin are those who repent. So whether the individual is Salafi or not, the individual is prone to sin. And perhaps these individuals who are behind this crime of mockery, they justify their actions by the fault and the sins that have come from some of the Salafiyyin. And indeed, from the minhaj of Ahl Sunnah, the Aqeer of Ahl Sunnah, and Jama'ah, you do not see no one as being ma'asum except for the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So yes, it is a fact that you find from amongst those who follow the methodology and the likes. But this does not justify an individual to make of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's deen. The Shaykh Muhammad bin Ahmad rahimahullah ta'ala, he mentioned in the invalidators of Islam, al-Naqad al-Sadis, the sixth invalidator, when it's tahza bi shayin, min dini illa, or fawabihi, or iqabihi, kafar. That whoever makes mockery of something from the religion of Allah, or its reward, or its punishment, this individual has disbelief. Dilil qawluhu ta'ala, qul abillahi ayatihi wa rasulihi kuntum fastahzi'oon 
لا تعتذروا قد كفرتم بعد إيمانكم. And then the Imam Sheikh Al Islam Muhammad bin Abdul Wahab رحمه الله تعالى he mentions and the evidence is the statement of Allah تعالى and the meaning is to say as it in his verses and his messengers that you will make a mockery of. Do not have disbelief after your faith. Then here, in the statement of the Shaykh of Allah Ta'ala, that from the affair should validate one's Islam is the history of the deen of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala or the reward of this deen or the punishment of this deen. This is kufr. Meaning that which will remove the person from the fault of Islam. And he based his statement, Rahimahullah Ta'ala, upon the statement of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, say is it with Allah and his signs or his verses and the messenger that you will make in mockery of. <clears throat> Do not make excuses for you have disbelieved after your iman. And what is meant by mockery? is to belittle someone, to mention someone in a manner of belittlement, seeing oneself as being better, or mentioning an individual in a manner that is, is not debasing the individual, bringing to light faults, and the likes of that to cause the people to laugh, to make people to laugh. And these are from the linguistic uh, meanings of making mockery, as well as that which the ulama has given as a meaning from the aspect of the legislation. This verse came down regarding an individual, individuals during the one of the battles, and he was sitting, and he said that we do not find anyone who was more greedy, who lie more who are more cowardly for meeting the enemy than our reciters. And what was meant by it was, or those who were meant by the statement, was the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the Sahaba, because indeed they were the reciters at that time. So in this statement here, one of the Ansar, he addressed the individual who made the statement and said, You have lied, however, you are a hypocrite. And he said, Indeed, I want to inform the Messenger of Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And when he went to the Messenger of Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, to inform him about this affair, the revelation preceded him. And when the individuals were making mockery, and I say individuals, as the ulama mentioned, that even though one person spoke, those who were there were silent. And their silence was a form of agreement to that which was being said. So Allah addressed them in the plural, which shows the dangers of individuals seeing people and hearing people make a mockery of the deen of Allah, and, and the person does not speak up. And the person does not speak out against this affair or a person remains silent, not hating it in the heart and the likes, an individual will join with the, and those who made the mockery and take the same ruling. 